The horrors of the transatlantic slave trade. Branded, whipped and bound, hundreds of thousands of Africans were shipped from the town of Cachayou in Guinea-Bissau to the Americas between the 15th and 18th century. And even the building housing this new memorial museum played its part. This was a trading house for local and other products. And how was this done? It was actually through direct exchanges of local commodities for men and European commodities for men. There are items that bear witness to that. Groups of slaves were fed from communal pots. Despite its size, it wasn't enough to feed everyone. The portions were quite small and the dishes were quite basic. It was all cooked quickly so they could get back to work. Other slaving sites like Senegal's Gori Island are firmly on the tourist map, visited by heads of state including US President Barack Obama. Now Guinea-Bissau, one of the poorest countries in the world, wants its own share of tourists. The idea for the museum was born in 2010 when a group of slave descendants, identified by their DNA, visited Cachayou from Brazil and the Antilles. When they came, they started to tell their stories. Lots of people cried that day and others were saying, maybe that one is my relative. We organized a dance and even I danced that day. We hugged and shook each other's hands. In Guinea-Bissau, the history of the slave coast still isn't taught in local schools. But the hope is that here, where slaves left the continent, new tourists will arrive and the museum will keep memories of the traumatic colonial past alive.